Denise also cared a lot about helping people stay healthy through her medical reporting, so it's fitting that over the past few days, women have been talking with their doctors more about their own heart health. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne is joining us now live outside our studio in Rocky Hill with more on this story for us tonight. Hi, Roger. Hi, Mark. You know, it really is amazing when we drive in and see all of the flowers, just some of the bouquets have been placed here outside the studio. This support means so much to us. And you know, Denise's family believes that she passed away after a heart attack. And you know, it's fitting that even in death, Denise continues to make an impact. For some people, standard treatments don't work, but now there's something new. Denise always had a passion for medical reporting, including stories about heart health. Heart attacks kill more people in the U.S. than anything else. So perhaps it's not surprising that over the last few days, people all over Connecticut, particularly women, have been contacting their doctors. I've had numerous patients ask me questions. I had um, my staff in particular asking me questions about how could this happen? How, how does this happen? How is it missed? Yeah, people are really upset. Cardiologist Heather Swales is the director of the Women's Heart Wellness Center at the Hospital of Central Connecticut in New Britain. She says heart disease does not discriminate and women need to take extra precautions. Sudden death from heart attack is actually more common in women than in men. And women are more likely to not have had any symptoms before they have sudden death. That's why it's especially important for women to see their doctor regularly and get screenings for things like high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol, which can all alert doctors that something may be wrong. We have excellent treatments, but we can't help you if we don't know about it and if you don't talk to us. And the symptoms women deal with prior to a heart attack can be more subtle than the chest pain men often feel. Instead, women may experience what seems like indigestion, heartburn, or nausea that builds over time. So it may not be that dramatic movie scene where you're clutching your chest and suddenly having a massive heart attack. It may have been leading up over the preceding several days or several weeks. So if you suspect something is wrong, don't hesitate to schedule an appointment or call 911. The last few days have been difficult, but more women are talking about heart health and heart disease, which could save lives. I think it's really important that people uh, take it seriously, recognizing it is the leading killer, and they shouldn't feel stigmatized or um, bad about it because it can affect anyone. It doesn't discriminate. And by the way, you can find more heart health tips as well as some examples of some of Denise's incredible medical reporting on our website right now, WFSB.com. Reporting live outside the Channel 3 studios in Rocky Hill, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Roger, thank you very much. Uh, as he was just talking about, we have so many stories online, including so many great memories of Denise. We could just keep talking about her uh, for, well, really for years. Yeah, absolutely. She'll and certainly have an impact on us forever. Absolutely. Yeah. She has left her mark, and yeah. it's an indelible one. If you'd like to check out all of the great tributes to her, as well as old pictures and videos we've pulled from the archives, and trust me, you want to yeah. check out these videos. They are awesome. Just head to the Channel 3 app or our website, WFSB.com. We'll have much more news and weather after the break.